We were after a house that was comfortable to live in, energy efficient. Us and our two kids and our dog and our two cats. We didn't have much choice about our site because it was the site our old house was on. And when we got the plans, we realised that they really weren't optimised for our site. The scorecard assessment is a way to get an idea of the energy efficiency of a home using a star rating, so a bit like you would get on a fridge or a washing machine. Building plans are really interesting to look at because you can pick up things in advance that if you make a few small changes could make a really big difference to how energy efficient that home is. Initially uh, we had the kitchen on the north side of the design and the living areas on the south and this meant that the living areas would be quite cold and the kitchen would be warm which didn't really make sense. You can then make some variations and see what the difference would be in the scorecard result. We get, got a much better rating by moving the kitchen over to the south side and having the living areas on the north side. The assessor helped us prioritise the modifications by telling us what changes could be made with minimal cost. The original building plans had a rating of 2 out of 10, but after the improvements suggested in the scorecard rating system, we came out with an 8 out of 10. The scorecard is great for the client because it educates them what they can do, tells them what they can do to their home to improve the energy efficiency, then I can give them an idea of costs and they can make an informed decision on what they want to do. When people are looking for a builder to build their new home, I'd certainly advise them to start the conversation early with their builder about energy efficiency. I think there is a cultural resistance to change in the building industry. Building is a competitive business, we've all got to get jobs, we've all got to make a living. A lot of the energy efficiency things that people want to implement in buildings, you can't actually see them in the building. It's not like more expensive tiles, you can't see the insulation in the walls. So certain builders will want to keep costs down, so they will, won't, don't want to do this. It's how you build a cheaper house. And the scorecard uh, and the assessor really provided that backup, gave me that confidence to say yes I do want these changes and these are the reasons why. Some builders are different, uh, they want to build more energy efficient homes, uh, they train their staff on, on how to do it and how to do it properly. I remember this issue we have at the study here. There's an excellent opportunity for builders and architects to differentiate themselves in the market with the scorecard by showing that they're willing to work with their clients on improving the star ratings of their homes. So they made it deeper than existing joints. I believe the future direction of home construction is going to be driven by rising energy costs. People are going to want their homes cheaper to run. The scorecard helps people do this, it educates them, it shows them what they can do and they can get tangible results straight away. In our new home we're looking forward to lower running costs and a more comfortable home thanks to the input from the scorecard assessment.